In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you our gene page live in Mastermind. Any search for a single gene with or without a disease, phenotype, or therapy will land you on the gene page. Let's start with a search for the gene ENPP1. As you can see, the new gene page has a lot of new features and enhanced versions of classic Mastermind features. If you want to see the articles for your gene or gene and disease combination, you can click on the article count above the variant diagram here. But let's stay on the gene page for now. On the left-hand side, the new variant circle graph shows you the total number of variants in Mastermind and the total number of variants submitted to ClinVar for that gene that you've searched. Below the circle graph, we show a color-coded breakdown of variants by type. Within each variant type, we also show a breakdown by classification, which you can view by clicking on the variant type. All Mastermind users can view the total number of variants by type and the classification breakdowns for some genes. Pro users will be able to see the type and classification breakdowns for all genes. Next, I'm going to scroll down to the gene summary information, where we provide a functional summary of your gene, synonyms or other names for your gene, the canonical transcript, the chromosome location, critical protein domains, and protein shifts if they are present. Below the gene summary, we provide crucial information from various sources like ClinGen, Decipher, ClinVar, and dbSNP. The data we provide here can be used for gene curation based on ACMG guidelines. Now scrolling back toward the top of the page, we have a section for gene disease relationships here on the right-hand side. Our curation team develops these GDRs based on ClinGen guidelines. Here we present the disease, the strength of association, the inheritance pattern for definitive GDRs, and additionally, we provide functional and clinical evidence for our curated gene disease relationships. To view the clinical evidence, click on the stethoscope. To view the functional evidence, click on the test tube. These PMID links will link you out to PubMed where you can view the evidence used to curate this gene disease relationship. Now let's take a look at some of the enhancements to mastermind features you know and love. These changes are driven by user feedback, so remember to reach out to our team to suggest new features or changes to current features. The variant diagram here allows you to zoom in and out by scrolling, and you can pan across the entire diagram by clicking and dragging. You'll notice a smaller diagram in the top right corner. The highlighted area will show you where you are in relation to the entire diagram. The x-axis shows amino acid position, and the y-axis, or height of each peak, corresponds to the number of variants at that position and the top 10 most studied variants at that position, which is indicated by the number under total articles. If you click on a peak, all the variants at that amino acid position will populate in the variant table below, acting like a filter for this list. Below the x-axis, you'll notice these horizontal bars. These represent critical protein domains of the gene you are investigating. Hovering your cursor over the protein domains will show the name and amino acid range of that domain. You can also click on a gray bar, which will filter the variants in the list below to show all variants at that specific domain. The variant list here describes the variant, variant type, cDNA position, and total number of articles, and icons indicating whether a genomenon or ClinVar classification is present for that variant. We've added the ability to search for any amino acid position. We've added the ability to search for any amino acid position range in the search bar of the variant table. For example, 50 to 100. From here, you can then sort the position or sort by most studied variants in the range. You can still perform other search functions you're used to in Mastermind, like typing in a specific amino acid position or by typing in X to filter for all nonsense variants. A new feature we've added is this records filter here where you can filter by all records, curated evidence, or ClinVar evidence. Finally, clicking the number of articles will link you out to the articles page where you can view the evidence, or you can add variants to your search by clicking the plus button here. As you can see, as I click plus, all the variants I add are going up in the search bar here. You'll be seeing lots of changes to Mastermind over the next year, and we want your help to build the best genomics intelligence platform. Keep an eye out for release notes for new features, and always feel free to reach out to our team for help with the application and any suggestions to improve Mastermind. Thanks.